Hey, Abundant Seed family, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys continue to be safe given what is happening globally. We know we have to practice some extra precautionary measures to ensure that we are safe and our family members are safe. You know, welcome to another episode of the Abundant Seed family videos as we continue to educate and inform and grow together as we share information that we can benefit mutually. Abundant Seed family, let me just say guys, this is about us. This is supposed to be a communication channel between you and I. So I would really just love to hear your feedback, your comments. What would you like us to discuss as a family? You know, the last uh, video we spoke about uh, what is our fruit what type of fruits we are producing what type of fruits we are producing and so that was so important for us for those of you who are not yet familiar or have not seen the last video after this episode make sure you go uh, be sure to go and look at that video because you're going to really get some really really good information as to the type of fruit that you may be producing you know today we want to look at the seed because after the fruit is grown because of the multiplication process there would be seeds so we want to look at the seeds that you have produced or the seeds that you are producing because that is very very important but i want us to take that uh this concept from matthew chapter 13 where when jesus christ you know he left his home and he went out and then because of the crowd gathered he went onto this boat and he decided to speak about the parable of the farmer and so he said the farmer began scattering his seeds and so when i first heard about the scattering of the seeds i generally thought about men you know having children all about the place you know just scattering their seeds but uh, that is just a side track. this is not what this is about today I, I, I know most of you guys especially the females in the abundance seed family would love for me to develop on that but based on what you see in the comments column it is be something that i would definitely definitely give some thoughts about so you know uh jesus was talking about this farmer scattering the seeds and so i guess in those days you know we now have machines and so on where we can put the seeds down the farmer was just scattering the seeds and i'm of the assumption and we should always be of that assumption that the seeds were really good seeds yes the seeds were really good seeds why should we be talking about that because we said and we established before that we are planted by the rivers of waters and so we will bring forth fruit and from those fruit we will bring forth seeds so we are at this place now where we are growing because the fruit is growing and so on and it is what we are going to do with those seeds that are being produced because this is about sharing the information so what happened when the farmer scattered those seeds the seeds fell in four different locations four different locations and we need to put those things into context some of the seeds fell along the path the seeds that fell along the path just imagine you have a pathway where people are traversing every single day and they may be dropping the, the different stuff and the birds are around that path so the birds ate up those seeds so you are finding all this wonderful information because you are now a good seed and you are trying to share the information with people who are not just ready the traffic is too busy you are trying to share the information in places that are not conducive some of you you know try to share it on a bus or on a train or in a noisy environment and the woods are being eaten up the fruits the seeds that you are sowing are not making much sense to the people that you i shouldn't say making much sense but they are not bringing much value because of the environment where that seed is being sown it may not be the right place because of the different types of activity 
activities that are taking place there the person that you or persons that you may be speaking to are not yet ready for the information because there are so much distractions taking place in their lives so that it's important because we do not want to be wasting our time because we already spoke about the importance of time and we should be investing our time instead of spending our time so we have to be mindful of that and then in the second instance some of the seed fell on um, rocky places your seed that you would have sown on rocky places not much soil but the soil is good however because the soil is good the plant came up quickly that plant came up quickly and then the sun came when the sun came it scorched that plant think about you working very hard for your money or you have a business that is producing substantial amount of revenue but as soon as you get that money you go into the roulette machine you go on gambling thinking that you can make more money you got the money from a good place but you want to make more money and guess what happens because of the quick fix you would lose that money some of us invest in in businesses that were not properly researched and so those seeds never really take time they only are temporary so we have to be mindful in terms of the seed that we have while the soil may be good what is the depth of the soil that you are planting that seed would it really be sustainable would the relationship that you are building be sustainable enough let's say you're trying to build a relationship but you would have known the history of the person not being settled in one relationship they would have had multiple relationships in a very short period they all look good they all look promising but because the, the instability in the individual that you are now looking to invest your valuable seed in it cannot take root so you have to be careful in terms of relationships as well and in the third instance some of the seeds fell among thorns the ground is good there is adequate water because it is flourishing but the thorns have overshadowed the seeds that you have planted what are the distractions that you are having in your life right now that is placing a burden on you in terms of fulfilling your God-given purpose. What are the classes that you wanted to start, but because of the friends that you are keeping, you fell away on the wayside? What are the classes that you are in currently, but you are keeping the wrong friends that are pulling you away from your purpose? What is the business that you have started but you have not properly researched the people that you are getting involved in business in. And before you know it, they swindle you out of your business. They choke you out. Who are the people that you are speaking to with all those wonderful ideas that you have, thinking that they are your friends, but they are choking you when you pass the information? Are your friends positive or negative because if you are you are encountering negativity it can stifle your dreams who are the friends that you associate with i remember one person told me was lester be careful of the friends that you keep because if you are around five gossipers believe you me you're gonna be the sixth if you are around five broken people Believe you me, you're going to be the sixth. I remember my mom used to always say, show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. So be careful about the thorns around you. The ones that cannot bring value to your life. Because I will tell you this. If you are not growing, then you are, not, then you are dying. Because you would not remain, you cannot remain stationary as though nothing is happening this is life so you are either growing 
or you are dying. Examine yourself today. Look at the friends that you have and ask yourself this question. Am I growing or am I dying? Because you cannot be stagnated. Plants change leaves basically every day. We give off dead cells from our skin every day. My hair, as much as you can see it when I cut it, it grows. So whatever areas grow, it will grow basically every single day. So if you are not growing, then you are dying. So be careful of the thorns that will choke your plant. And the fourth instant is where all of us would like to be. Those seeds that fell on good soil. So the question would be, where do I spend my time? Who do I spend it with? Are they bringing value to my life? What do, where do I associate? What church do I fellowship? Am I growing in that environment or am I dying? Is it that they bring the word of encouragement? Words that could uplift up. What about this education are we, are, we are taking? The area in which we are. The people that we associate with. What are they bringing to the table? Are they lifting you up? Because this is the environment that you want to be. You want to be in an environment or among people that are stretching you. Stretching your dreams. Stretching your goals. Do you go and look at what we call areas that will... What, what is the word? I'm looking for a particular word here. Uh, abundant seed family. Do we do dream building exercises? Do we go in neighborhoods that we would love to live so we could stretch our dreams? Do we go in, in, in the, uh, the car places and look at particular cars and say, you know what, this is going to stretch my dream to go after the things that I want to do. This will stretch my why. Why am I doing this? Why am I starting this new business? Why am I pursuing this education? Why am I uh, starting this new business? What is my why? I remember one guy that I worked closely with in a business venture. And he said, Lester, if your why doesn't make you cry, then your why is not big enough. And so let us be mindful that when we have a good seed, it is sown in good grounds. What are the things that am I going to invest my money in? It? Who are the people that I'm going to invest my time with? I can tell you this as well. You have to be very, very careful how you invest your time. We should not be spending time anymore. Time is something that we cannot get back. So we have to be in places where we are appreciated and not tolerated keep that in mind this is so key be in an environment where you are appreciated and not tolerated abundant seed family we have to understand as a farmer in terms of the seeds we are sowing because the environment in which the seed is sown would depend on the returns because those seed that fell on good soil, what you're gonna get is thousand fold increase, ten thousand fold increase, and this is exactly what you want to achieve. Ten thousand one hundred fold increase because as a man so that shall he also reap. But you want to ensure that the harvest is bountiful. Abundant Seed family, thank you so much, guys, for being with us again today. We appreciate you so, so very much. If you are joining us for the very first time, we are, and you would like to get more of our videos, just subscribe to the link below. What is going to happen every time a new video is posted, you are going to be notified, so you're going to get the information. You're going to be able to grow with us as a family. Can you do one more thing for me, Abundant Seed family? Like this video, share it with your friends, your co-workers, and your family. And until we meet again, I love you, I love you, I love you, and God bless you, 
God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.